Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, this is the video where I'm going to test this Prusa Magnetite filament with RF. See if it's reflective or not, if it can make a RF reflectors. This is the magnetic filament. And you can see i got a little neodymium magnet there sticks to it. This has 40% magnetite, which I've explored as a radiation shield in my previous video. I'll get that magnet off there later. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to do some RF testing with it to see if it could be used as an RF reflector. So what I have printed is, this is PLA, and this is a Wi-Fi reflector that you can download off Thingiverse. I've coated it with aluminum foil as you would normally use it. So this is going to be my control. Uh, this is a known good reflector, and we're going to use this. And then to compare... I also printed the same thing in the magnetite filament. So this is the 40% magnetite. So we will compare reflectivity of the RF. Let me show you the testing setup and uh, let's do some tests. All right, somebody's gonna wanna know if this stuff is resistive or not, conductive. And by the way, it really prints pretty. I mean, this is just, look at that finish. You can see my fingerprints on it. <laughs> it's so smooth. My fingerprints on there. Kind of tricky to print though. It does uh, want to splatter a tiny, tiny bit and gather on the end of the nozzle. I had to actually pause one print when I was doing the radiation testing a couple of times to clean the nozzle. So, we've got the old Fluke 77 out here on resistance. And uh, there we go. About 5.2. One mega ohms, five mega ohms through my body. All right, so nothing, nothing. I can get the probes really close. They're about a millimeter apart, nothing. So no, it's not conductive. You're not gonna print an antenna with uh, the magnetite filament. So there you go. Well, this is gonna be my source. I've got this Wi-Fi Yagi antenna and down here, I've currently got the CC Nano VNA hooked up to it. And as you can see, we've got resonance over a broad area. But specifically 2.29 megahertz, or gigahertz, 2.29 gigahertz, uh, which is where I am going to be doing my testing because my receive antenna is resonant at 2.29 gigahertz. So the Yagi is giving us an SWR of 1.19 or 1.2 to 1 at that frequency. Quite good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the little nano VNA into signal generator mode on 2.29 gigahertz. And then I'm going to put this Yagi with the uh, nano VNA sitting in this little pouch down the hall that way about nine feet or three meters away from the desk pointing at the desk. And over here at the desk, I'll have this pie tin that I use for testing rubber duck antennas with this little antenna that I made out of a short stub of coax. And I've already trimmed and tuned this. This is resonant at 2.29 gigahertz, which I'll show you a photo of right here. Uh, so why 2.29? Well, it's outside of the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi range, so we won't get any interference from Wi-Fi. And I will have on the desk this little antenna and the tiny SA spectrum analyzer connected to it to receive signals coming from the signal generator, the Nano VNA, and the Yagi nine feet that way. That'll give me a directional source, and I can then do some measurements. We're set up. The Yagi is down the hall pointing in this direction and we are seeing a signal level that's sitting around eh, it's varying slightly probably from reflections but around negative 57 dBm with just the antenna. If I put my hand in here 
it drops down about 3 dBm, 4 dBm for my hand absorbing the signal. Now I'm going to put on the first reflector. Okay, the signal level came up quite a bit. Yep, it's sitting right around negative 48 dBm. Pretty good. Now the big question. This is the magnetite reflector. So that only brought us up about 3 dBm. 53.8, 54, yeah, it's about 54. Let's say 54. It's varying a bit. Okay, one final test to do. I have printed this shield. This will go down over the antenna. This is two millimeters thick magnetite filled PET G. So we're still sitting at our baseline of negative 57 dB. I'm going to put the shield over the antenna. Didn't really drop much at all. So as a shield, um, it doesn't really make much of a difference at all. So RF reflectivity and RF shielding capabilities of it are present but minimal. Well, so there you go. It does have some RF reflective properties, but not very good. Uh, it's not a good reflector. So you wouldn't be using it to print a parabolic reflector dish. Um, and, and this RF shielding, well, as you saw when I put the shield on there, no difference at all, really. RF goes right through it. So it's mildly effective as a radiation shield. Uh, there are magnetic properties to it, of course, obviously. It's got magnetite in it, so magnetic shielding might have some applications. And in a future video, I'll probably look at that. So anyway, that's that. And uh, now, on to the next video. See you there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.